my biggest thing, and I, I found this when I started working in, in the film world, and maybe you did too, was trying to explain to people what exactly you do for a living. I know my mom still doesn't know anything about the movie world. Um, so for all the moms out there, what, when you start a project, what is your role? Our answers will all be different. Yes. Um, I work with two other directors. We're all directors and we rotate for each other. <laughs> the crap that we put ourselves through to make movies, I wouldn't do it for anybody if I didn't love them because there's not any real reward from it. It really isn't. <laughs> it's not. That's, that's it's so not, painful. It's you not really have to. So basically, <laughs> like, should yeah, you have to. He should not go first. <laughs> <laughs> no, Producing the worst job ever. No, and then yeah, we, so we're three directors who rotate as <laughs> producers for each other. And since for 10 years we've been working together, going on 10, and like when one's directing, writing his feature, the other two are directing or producing commercials, and we're splitting the money three ways. We've been doing that for 10 years. And Will you only produce each other's material? We produce outside. We produced one for a director named Alistair Banks Griffin, which was something radical. It had like six lines of dialogue, an hour and a half. It was uh, based on William Faulkner, as I like dying. It premiered at Cannes in 2010. Um, but so the, you're basically producing as a collective. Yeah, I mean, we just, basically, you're a filmmaker, it's not rocket science. You should be able to do every job, in my mind. I agree. And it's like, your job as a producer is to make everybody's job easier. So you're really just fighting for your friends. You should be, because you're hustling. Like, you know, I, we all make movies for little money, but we're able to shoot on 35 anamorphic and cut traditionally because we're hustling. Like, we're sitting in Kodak for a week, waiting for them to talk to us, and they finally do, and then right. they hook you up. And then for the, if it, after the first film it does well, then they continue to give you stuff and then hopefully you get to play with a bigger canvas. It's about arts and crafts with other people's money. You might as well have fun with it. <laughs> and do you, do you guys feel like that's your role as a producer? You have your hands in everything? Is that part of the job? Yeah, I, mean, I think ultimately it's about you're managing people, time, and money. And it's just at what, what stage of the movie making process that is. If it's in development, then you're, you're, you know like, you've spent a certain amount of money to get an option, uh, so a clock starts ticking, so then you just have to manage the people, time, and money in that, in that part then pre-production and production and post now. You hope you have enough time to edit your movie, which is not always the case. The whole shebang. I think they're different, they're different producers, I think. I think they're bottom-up producers who are kind of, it's more of a creative process and you want to make movies and you're like the filmmaker producer, so you learn by fire. And that you've done it all the wrong ways, so, you know, whatever. You've, you've gotten somebody's $5, $10, 500000 or a million dollars and you kind of figure it out and you, you get better as you continue to go. And I think there are producers who are producers where they have the pieces. They know access to talent, they have access to money, they, they kind of are more the executives. And I think there's probably an argument on who are stronger <laughs> as producers. Um, I'm a bottom-up producer. I've made a movie for 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, a million, like, you know. Um, so I think I have a different, I'm probably closer to Josh as far as, you know, the experience is, let's go get some money and make movies with my friends. Yeah. And that's kind of how I've gotten, you know, where I am, but I do think there are other ways to produce, and I think that at the end of the day, the biggest thing is you're the responsible person. Like whoever, when you're the producer or the producers, it's your job to get something from a script disseminated to the people in whatever way you do that. You're servicing the director. I mean, yeah. You're, you're, you work for the director on an independent level. Yeah. On a studio level, it's very different. It's very different. Because you're it's working true. in between the studio, you're the buffer between the director and the studio. You just, like, you want to look back and make sure that the, the director never, ever said, I didn't have this, because it's all on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's a hustle, and it's like... But even on an indie level, I mean, I feel like I'm a buffer between the financier mm -hmm. and the director. I was going to say, right I there. feel like I have as much responsibility to the financiers who come in for each of our films as I do to the director. And honestly, maybe that's a problem, and it's certainly been an issue on Challenge. a number of the films <laughs> that we've done, yeah. for sure, but... You guys give up, you guys give a final cut? We have final cut. Yes, the director yeah. does. Yeah. No. Oh, that's uh, crazy. Producers right. producers that's yeah. crazy, dude. That's <laughs> like, crazy. Yeah, for producer. no money. But I think, out. but I think, it, they're not, the these aren't for no, I mean, I don't know what you consider no like money. Five, it's below five million dollars. Okay, no. The, these are, Student. well, no, they have been above, below five million and we wow. have still yeah, had. That's crazy. I think, yeah. I think, again, I think, you know, it's, it's that finite balance. I think, you know, um, I feel uh, responsible for the, the investors because people invest. It depends. Sometimes people invest in the director. I love this director. I love their work. Here's a two million dollars. Whatever he yeah. wants. Then that's great. But when you're the person <laughs> who sit in the room and you say, "I'm not going to lose your money. Right. I'm going to do as best as I can to make sure that this becomes a viable product," 
and it gets distributed and makes its money back, or as you know, we, that's the goal. You do feel this burden. To me, that's of kind the of essential. You can't, you can't legally say that to anybody because it's a high risk investment. Of course, so of course, but you still feel. Uh, yeah. You still. Yeah, you, I, I mean, I don't. You I want everybody to eat. Definitely the goal that. Yeah. That if you're able to make your money back for your investor, then they'll come back for more. Right. Right. Exactly. You certainly, no one exactly. wants to burn right. any kind of and I think bridge or leave anyone unhappy. I think, unhappy I think with their men are more balls yeah. to the wall, kind of like, look, thank you, that's the stuff, we're gonna go make this movie. I think women producers have a different slant, I found, than the guys are like, Is that because so of the industry and how they have to work in it? And I think guys are like Rambo. It's like, we have toys and money. <laughs> like, let's go. Like, he, just, he just wants to shoot it. <laughs> Why are we not shooting something yeah, right money. now? Well, <laughs> all we really need is some tits, and this is great. Let's go have right. a ball. Yeah. And I think, I think there's also a trick to finding the right director, the right writers to work with, because, uh, you know, Kind of going back to what Josh said earlier, you're you're basically out there killing yourself for right. for no nothing tangible. Right. You know, to give someone to like make their dreams a huge come true. Chance. You're like you're a the director, chance. and, and yeah. you have and also, to know but that you were. It's also your dreams as well. Exactly, yeah, but you have to, to know that you're that's that true. you're putting your effort into someone who is going to really make the most that's of a, it. I think that's yeah. a bit you of know. a difference. I think your situation is like at least for me. I feel like if the director is like the quarterback. <laughs> and the producer is like the coach. If the team wins, it's because the, the director did. Oh, it's fantastic! If you lose, it's who produced the. Right. <laughs> it really is like. Right, but, I, at least but who? But who picked the quarterback at, at draft time? True, you know, and you so. know what I'm saying. So yeah, and, and that as well. So um, I yeah, I, I definitely feel like there's more there's more of the responsibility and less of the glory in the producing I look role. Good. I look good. Yeah.